Hi, I'm Evie and I'm raising money for a statue of Mary Annie in her hometown of Lyme Regis. And I'm Anya and I'm her mum and I'm helping her to do that. Mary's such a fascinating character. She grew up in a very, very poor family. She was born in 1799. Her father died when she was just aged 11 and fossil hunting to begin with was a way of making some extra money. But that was never the end of it for Mary. She had this amazing curiosity and this desire to learn. When Mary was 11 years old, she found the first ever ichthyosaur the world had never seen anything like it. It was a complete mystery. She opened up the can of worms for fossils, which we now think of as dinomania, the obsession that people have with dinosaurs. It really all started with Mary Anning. And so this is part of her legacy. So she discovered lots and lots of fossils of a brand new species. She was going out after winter storms when landslips had exposed new fossils. She knew that that was the time when she would find uh, important new evidence there. This is not somebody who just happened upon a discovery and got famous on the back of it. She was a skilled scientist, she had a good eye, she was a hard worker, she went out every single day. When people would visit her, notably individuals from the Geological Society and other societies, she was the expert. They were asking for her advice on these things. This was somebody who, I think from a very young age, showed what is possible if you are intelligent, hardworking and passionate. And those three things together mean you can achieve pretty much anything. And what child wouldn't be inspired by that? Mary's finds were part of a significant movement in helping to understand geological time and better understand the complexities of prehistoric life, ultimately leading to such groundbreaking research by people such as Charles Darwin coming up with his theory of evolution. She was voted by the Royal Society Committee one of the ten most significant females in the history of science in Britain. Even though Mary was involved in the emerging science of geology, she wasn't recognised for the role that she played. Women couldn't vote, women couldn't belong to learned societies. And that was the way society was organised. It was inconceivable that she could join the Geological Society because it was exclusively for men. We really want to do Mary proud and put a beautiful bronze statue in Lyme Regis where she should be, right here. It's about restoring her to her rightful place in the history of science. It's about making sure that anyone that visits Lyme Regis knows that this really important woman was there doing that work in the early days of, of paleontology. She was her own boss, which is a lovely message for today. Instead of all these people telling you what you can't do and what you shouldn't do, she just got on with it. And she, she just wasn't going to let Victorian society get in the way of her passion. She's such a strong role model. At a time when it was difficult to succeed as a woman, it was difficult to make your mark as a poor working class person, she managed to do both. And we very rarely get statues of those types of people. Please help us by donating as much money as you can. Because Mary Ann yeah, rocks. I like Barry because she's amazing.